Ahoy! My name is Kurt and today, after a long time, I have a Power Rangers tutorial for you. I tried to encapsulate the well-known rock formation from the series into a diorama. This wooden lid serves as an excellent base for the diorama. I initially covered it with a 4mm thick layer of foam to give the diorama some height. I found these five, well actually six figures at an amazingly low price and they're perfect for such a small project. The paint job is unfortunately very bad. Okay, let's get this out of the way quickly. <laughs> I'd really appreciate a thumbs up and maybe a subscription. It helps me and my channel a lot. Also, I've activated the super thanks function so you can support my channel financially. Thank you very much for your support and let's continue with the video. I arranged the positions of the figures and for some reason Drini or Aisha is much larger compared to the others so she had to find a place in the back row. Kimberly or Cat on the other hand is tiny and almost delicately fragile. My plan was to conceal a string of LED lights inside the diorama and illuminate the ground under the rangers in the corresponding color. For the large rock in the background, I layered different thicknesses of foam, from 1 to 5 mm. I split the sandwich in the middle and glued another layer of 1 mm foam to the back to cover the visible layers. I then attach the rock with a good amount of hot glue to the base. From the remaining pieces I carved additional small stones and scattered them in the diorama. I crafted another sandwich stone and also glued it into my diorama. I painted the interior of the foam with black acrylic paint so that the green foam wouldn't show under any circumstances. Next I removed a lot of material from the back to hide the batteries. That was quite a task I tell you. The layers of foam were so stubborn and I didn't even use much hot glue to stick them together. At some point I finished that and glued the LEDs into the holes provided for them in the ground. I covered the whole thing with a transparent plastic sheet to protect it and later apply window color in the corresponding color. In theory and in my head everything looked much nicer and cooler. Well, at that point, I was more than dissatisfied. The colors didn't cover properly, the shape in the ground looked bad, the lights were too weak and oddly positioned, and I realized that my plan wouldn't quite work out. After that, I taped the plastic with painter's tape to give the foam clay more surface to hold on to. Next up, foam clay. Instead of modeling clay, I used up my leftovers of foam clay, so I officially finished the first bag. So I covered the surface and transitions and let the whole thing dry for a bit. I took the figures and tried to add a few details. However, I was hesitant because I only had one attempt and unfortunately I didn't have the right kind of paint for this project. So I only highlighted a few details here and there that I could justify. For the primer I mixed some sand, a bit of water, craft glue and black acrylic paint. I applied this paste rather generously and very uneven.
I let the diorama dry overnight. The next morning I applied more craft glue on the surface and while it was still wet I sprinkled baking soda on it. The sandy surface was a bit too rough for my taste and in my opinion didn't match the scale of this project. After it dried I mixed some water, wood stain and various shades of brown and applied this mixture all over the diorama. After letting the paint dry a bit, I painted the surface with a rich yellow ochre tone, applying it in thin layers for a smooth transition. I used white chalk paint to highlight the edges and corners. In the recessed areas I brushed the wood stain again to create shadows. I wanted to add some dried grass and I remember that you can make small bushes out of bristle brushes. I don't remember where I saw that so the idea isn't mine. I applied some hot glue on a brush, let it harden and then simply cut off the bristles. Then I determined the size of the bushes and glued them in the diorama. Here and there I dabbed a bit more of the brown mixture to give the dead bushes more variation. I painted the bottom edge of the wooden board to make it look prettier again and the diorama was finished. No it wasn't, snip snap I cut the cables and filled the holes in the ground again, I just didn't like it at all. This project didn't turn out to be perfect but without lights in the ground it looks so much better, in my opinion. So. We made it, we've reached the end and I thank you for tuning in and sticking around until the very end. I have a separate diorama planned for Tommy, the Green Ranger and I'm already busy crafting but there are already problems and I am dissatisfied again. <laughs> Let's see what happens. I'd be delighted if you join in again next time. Until then, take care.